Hello everyone, Stephen again, um, with the Historical Ninjutsu Research Team. Uh, this video is going to look briefly the two, uh, two of the main divisions of Buddhism, two major divisions of Buddhism, Mahayana and Vajrayana. The reason for this is because in my last video I touched on it and Anthony has asked me to go through and just touch on those differences, explaining them a little bit. Won't go into real detail. If you want more detail, just uh, send a message, contact uh, contact us. Otherwise, uh, this video is going to be very brief. Okay. The first major division we're going to touch upon is Mahayana. Mahayana Buddhism is the most common form of Buddhism on the planet right now, and it is what is called Sutrayana. Sutras are re uh, recorded teachings of Shakyamuni Buddha, or Siddhartha, right? The historical Buddha. They're not his exact words. What they are is he said something, he taught something, then later, sometimes a few hours later, sometimes, or like uh, officially, well, officially all the sutras were re recorded and cataloged after Buddha's passing away. Okay? Allegedly, some of them may have been written down before, but officially, all the sutras were written when Buddha passed away, then all of his disciples got together, and then they, you know, made this sort of, um, I want to say official canon, but essentially they produced uh, the, the written record of Buddha's teachings, okay? These teachings do not require any kind of initiation or empowerment. A Buddhist is supposed to have, you know, refuge vows, and monks have pratyamoksha vows, and you can also have bodhisattva vows. There's levels of vows which require a master to give you, but to study the sutra requires no initiation. Okay? This is like Zen Buddhism, or Pure Lamb Buddhism, or, you know, Chan is also Zen. Okay? Most Buddhism in the world now is Mahayana Buddhism. Okay? And, and therefore, the, they don't, it doesn't require initiation. Alright. The second form of Buddhism, which we're, which we're touching on, is what's called Vajrayana, or Tantric Buddhism. This is, in Japan, this is called Mikyo. Okay. So, Tantric Buddhism, or Vajrayana Buddhism, the, these teachings are based on the Tantra. What is the Tantra? The, the word Tantra means continuum, like continuum, continuance, continuation. Okay? Tantra is the direct word, direct teachings of an enlightened being that are infused with, in so many ways, you could say infused with blessing, infused with power, Infused with magical juju, <laughs> you know, whatever word you want to use, but the, the potency. Not only are the words, the direct words, the exact words that have been handed down by an enlightened being, but they also carry power with them, okay? Such as like mantra, such as prayers, verses. These aren't just like random things. The, the reason they are powerful is they come directly from an enlightened mind, okay? So, these are directly from an enlightened being. Because these come directly from an enlightened being, and they're not a record that's made later, they require, and because they're empowered, they're infused with this essence, this requires initiation and transmission. So everything tantric has to come down from a master, it has to go from the master to the disciple, because the idea is tantra, continuation. The enlightened being passed down an enlightened teaching and its essence is powerful and it goes into the heart of the first, the primary disciple. Then that disciple becomes realized and passes it down directly and completely to his disciple and it goes master student, master student, master student down to the ages. If that's broken, then that practice, that tantra, that lineage is broken and it's dead. Okay? So it has to be authentically transmitted from master disciple all the way back to the original enlightened being who gave that teaching or gave that ritual. Okay? Tantra requires initiation, so empowerment and transmissions and all kinds of just getting it directly and completely from an authentic master. And obviously, duh, like that master had had to get it from an, an authentic master too. 
you know, it has to go back authentically all the way. All right, so those are the two main divisions, or, or not divisions, but categories, okay? Now, in the Shonin Ki and the Ban Senshu Kai, you find these two views. The Shonin Ki has a Mahayana view, and the Ban Senshu Kai has a Tantric view, Vajrayana view, okay? I'm gonna, and I'm gonna put this up. I wanna, when I'm done saying this, I'll put this up. Okay? The Shonin Ki has a Mahayana view because it espouses Buddhism, but it espouses the form of Buddhism that is sutra based. Because it is sutra based means it's not gonna, it doesn't have a lot of like esoteric rituals, which means that that sort of human need for, for mystic experiences is like tagged along with a bunch of spells and stuff to be blunt. Alright? Like, there's the Buddhism, but then, like, there's also, like, magical spells and stuff, okay? The, the, so the, the presence of Mahayana doctrine with, like, Taoist-ish spells with no evidence of Tantra, right, shows that the author of the Shonin Ki is a Mahayana Buddhist practitioner, okay? In the Bansan Shukai, there's no magic spells, there's no juju, okay? It's all Ninjutsu as a technical art, and then the mentality, the philosophy, the spirituality is Tantric Buddhism, evidenced by the fact that, for example, Fujibayashi Sensei uh, not only quotes different uh, Tantric-related texts, but he specifically also, uh, the whole section that's in the Benson Shukai that addresses Marishite, or Marishi, an outer Tantric form of Wajrawari. This tantra, okay, the mantra, the mudra is in the Benson Shukai. So the Benson Shukai contains tantric mantras. It's tantric, Buddhist, okay, and also based on the quotes used by Fujibayashi Sensei. It's a very tantric approach. Like, for example, when he talks about not to care about, you know, time of day or weather or whatever like that, you know, is because in tantra, that's a tantric viewpoint. Because in tantra, you rely on the Buddhas. You don't rely on any other magic. You rely only on like Buddhas called Siddhi, spiritual accomplishments, which are kind of like spiritual powers that come from practicing Tantra. Okay? And therefore, you, you just don't worry about, you know, like astrological crap. Okay? So, there you go. Mahayana, Vajrayana. And then Shonen Ki, Bansan Chukai. So here is a list. Here's sort of on the screen. I'm going to put it in words so maybe it makes a little more sense. 